My message is very simple. For us to be restored properly to the Lord. For us to be restored as brethren, one to another, we need the same instruction. Our unity needs to be found in us all listening to the voice of God. Now, I'm going to prove to you that the church actually teaches that Jesus Christ is not the Messiah. And it's going to come from the words of Moses. Deuteronomy chapter 13, beginning at verse 1. If a prophet or a dreamer of dreams arises among you and gives you a sign or a wonder, and the sign or the wonder comes true concerning which he spoke to you, saying, Let us go after other gods whom you have not known, and let us serve them. You should not listen to the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams, for the Lord your God is testing you to find out if you will love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. You shall follow the Lord your God and fear Him. And you shall keep His commandments, listen to His voice, serve Him and cling to Him. Brethren, Yeshua was one of our countrymen. He came and He did signs and He did wonders. If He came for the purpose to change what Moses said, to give us a new God, a new way to God. If he came to do something different than what Moses said, if, and as it says in verse 5, but that prophet or dreamer of dreams shall be put to death because he has counseled rebellion against the Lord your God who has brought you from the land of Egypt and redeemed you from the house of slavery to seduce you from the way in which the Lord your God commanded you to walk. If he came and he was trying to seduce us and lead us from a different way than we were commanded to walk as Moses instructed us, if he in fact came and did that, he's a false messiah. He's a false prophet. He's a false teacher. He deserves to die of blasphemy. And if he came to change that, to make that go away, diminish that, do something different with it, he's false. You want to know why my Jewish brethren have rejected him as the Messiah? Because that's the best proof that he's not. And I would like my Gentile brethren, God love them, to please stop supplying false witnesses about Yeshua and saying that he came contrary to Moses. He who would be greatest in the kingdom is he who will keep and teach the Torah. Now brethren, I want you to take note of something here. We know the Messiah is the greatest in the kingdom. Any question about that? Therefore, the Messiah keeps and teaches the Torah. Don't dispute the very words spoke by the mouth of God. You can't possibly be right.